Just disappeared. What's it? I think you said, well, 7.59. Yeah, it's on. Is it on? Yeah, it gives people time to get on. Where's comments? Just a minute. I want to see mine here. You can't. I told you that. Yeah, I can. <sighs> you just don't know how to. Hello, ladies. Lucy is starting already. I'm not even, I don't even have it here. It's been on for 37 seconds. Oh, well. It's on, dear. Where? You have to find it. Well, that's what I said. Oh, God, it's going to be a long night. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jennifer, Carolyn, Linda, Shahada, Diane. You're in for an interesting night. Let's just say that. Hi, ladies. Hi, <clears throat> yeah, we're in. So for Lucy it. was already starting before the video even started. Oh, Bar barking, please. barking at me. Because someone tells me I don't know how to use my computer. <laughs> he he insists I have to use it the way he uses his. No, I just I don't, insist you have to I use it the right way. Oh, please. I don't sit there and tell you how to do your computer. Because I do it right. Oh, yes. Of course. Isn't that right, ladies? Men, they're always right. Yes. They're always well, right. Not always, but most of the time. Hi, Sandra. We in for a few chuckles tonight. So tonight is, if Ricky can do it, you can do it. No, anybody can do it. Oh, anybody. Well, yeah. If Dan can do it, Ricky can do it, anybody can do it. You can't That's, even get the name straight. I can't even get your name straight. Who are you? When are you making tea? I'm not. I got to watch you hey, make a mess. Ladies, if, if I'm doing this, Lucy has to make tea. Hi, Anne. Yes, men do think they're always right, Sandra. You got that right for sure. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. So... I only think I'm right when I'm right. Oh. <laughs> no comment. No comment. No comment. Which Stop is, banging your chair into my time. chair. Push over a oh, little bit. No, I have to. I have this here. I have to be oh right here. Oh, my God. I have to be so right here, I ladies. So what do I have in front of me? I got a thing in front of me. So, ladies, I got to start off by saying... I think if Lucy is going to make me do this once a week, she needs to pay to get my nails done and a manicure oh. <laughs> so my hands look pretty for the videos. Yeah. I, I would like to see comments on that. I would yeah. like to see everybody like my say... my hands. Look I at would, the mess No, no, mine. we're talking about Ricky. I would like to see all the comments saying, yes, you agree with Ricky. I just see old hands. Look at mine. You think I go and Oh, get those up? are young hands. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that I go and get a, a manicure? That's because you don't no. want to. I want Look you to at, pay. I'm I want bleeding, you to pay I'm for my manicure. And everything. Look, ladies, I need a manicure. Oh, please. Right? Okay. We're going to scare them away. Why comments? don't we get. I agree. Right there. There we Carolyn go. agrees with me, not with you. No, she agrees with me. Oh, please. Ladies, I need to see those comments that you agree. I need some support here. So tonight we're going to um, have Dan uh, play a little bit with the watercolor art impressions. Now, if you ladies haven't uh, cleaned the goat stall, they will be as soft as silk. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, get into the poop. Betty says, "Will Betty Tap says we'll take up a collection that I guess for your for your manicure." No, Lucy has to pay. I appreciate oh, it. Okay, but Lucy, Lucy has, has to, pay. to pay. Not. So, ladies, um, as I was saying, we're going to have Dan do a little watercolor piece just so that we can show you guys that it is something that you shouldn't be afraid of. It's lots of fun. And the nice thing with these um, stamp sets, sorry, I'm just cleaning off a set here, is that um, they look like watercolors, but all we're doing is we are using Tombow markers on this project. How come you're zoomed in like that? Okay, I need to, sorry, just gotta get myself in the camera a little bit here. I don't want you in the camera. Okay, 
So basically, um, I've got the Margie Ukita, but um, we've switched over to Tombow. Which are exactly the same. They page. are the same. It's they, they even, Art Impressions even has a chart as to what the substitution is. They moved away from Margie Ukita into Tombow. And so the markers are the same. They do have a brush on one end and a fine point on the other end. These are what we're using to create these watercolors. And of course, with a brush and a little bit of water. And they come together so quickly. Now, Bonnie does these watercolor Wednesdays and she shows you, you know, exactly what I'm going to show you, uh, except she's the pro. Um, I just play around with it and like doing it and then pass that information on to you guys. And then when we're done tonight, Ricky will be the pro. Ricky will be the pro. So he thinks. Yeah. Um, so the nice thing with these stamp sets, and I'm going to show you first before we get into this. See, she's already not ready. Um, I'm we, going to show you. We need to you, move these out of the just way. Just move that out of the way for a second. So the stamp set that we're using to create, hold on, to create this little tree here, we are just using this fir tree set. And in fact, we are only using this, this, and this out of this set. And you can see the branches, they're very small. I've got three separate blocks on the go here so that I can uh, work with them all together. And we're gonna create uh, this little thing here. Um, you know, just ignore this. I was scribbling around on it, playing around with it. Ladies, are but you that's still there? I don't of, see any comments. Yeah, you have to keep swiping. Here oh, we Lucy. go. Lucy. Bev Layton's watching tonight. Hi, Bev. Hi, Sherry, where have you been? So, um, so that's the one we're creating a couple of weeks ago or a month ago. I showed you guys how I did this one. And again, I just followed Bonnie's uh, YouTube videos and this is a monochromatic, which is really cool. So just a black marker and I created this. So it's just so easy to do. Where are you going? I'm going to get my computer. I'll be back ladies. Oh because my Lucy's gosh. Comments she's not paying attention to. I'm paying attention. So I'm going to show you, hi Kathy. Um, so th this was one just done, as I said, with the uh, cabin here, one of the trees, and then just a black marker. This one here, we are using one, two, three, four, five markers on this one. Um, but there are so many sets. Now, these are some of the sets here. So I just wanna show you. So for instance, now they've switched over they used to be rubber, and now they've switched over to the acrylic, um, which is actually better because it's easier to see your placement with the acrylic than it is with the rubber. Although, you know, a rubber stamp has got more detail uh, than an acrylic. I think in the case of this, um, we're not worried. It's not like it's fine detail. You are actually doing the fine detail with your markers. So this one here is the chairs and then all of the con uh, containers there and then what happens is you then buy sets of foliage and flowers so for instance this is foliage set number two so you know if you were doing these containers with these flowers you see these branches that are sticking up miss me ladies i'm back you might use something like this um you know, around the legs of the chairs, you may use some vines and so forth. So there are a whole bunch of different foliage sets. I think there's four or five. And then now we have to listen to your noisy computer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, ladies, the things I got to put up with to do this. You have no idea. Uh, oh, Sherry, yeah, you never should get rid of of these honestly they are so easy and i'm going to be doing them more and more because I, I had gotten away from them i also want to do some classes in the store in the new year but i just want to show you guys how easy it is to do and like we said if ricky can do it anyone can do it so yeah thank you he can't he tells me i can't get settled you get your butt settled well, there mister you don't have a set me. I no, Kelly, it's his computer that's making all that noise. So, hi, Mary. Shut it off. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. For you? Yeah, I need one like that for you. Yeah, where's your button? Okay, so. Where's your button, Lucy? Another one we have is the Foundations Rocker. 
So again, you know, this one is, is quite nice. They've changed them quite a bit this year and they've included a lot more stuff. So before you would maybe get the rocker and then you had to, you know, add the containers and so forth. I like the idea that they've got all of these pieces ready to go and then you've just got to add your flowers in. Um, you know, this is a, a doorway. And again, it's got all the containers along the bottom here. Um, and then, you know, we're, we're adding to that. Um, it's really like building all of these different sceneries. Here's a foundations teapot. And again, you know, these are the acrylic ones. Love this barn set. I was going to play with that tonight and just ran out of time. This is a wooden table again with all these containers in order to create this grouping. These are so beautiful. And I did bring home, I don't know where I put it. I buy these little frames from Ikea and I do them up and I put them in the little frames and they look so nice. You can like, you know, have it in a room for so long and then pitch it and do up a, a fresh new one and change it up. And people will think that you've just been doing these wonderful watercolors. Well, they are wonderful watercolors, but they're not watercolors in that sense. Um, so this one here, I really like. This is watering cans all in a in a row. Kelly, you wear a headset? How far back is that, are you? Is that for your gaming? That's way back. Is We're it? way past that. Well, I finally turned on the comments on your computer. Yeah, but I like to see the big screen. That's the... I don't. Mm. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, I'm way ahead of his comments, so I don't know what's going on there. These are a series of bridges. So again, you can add that with, let's say, some small rocks off to the edge. So these are all different rock sets. You know, there's another rock set. Um, this is mini foliage. And they've done something new where they have kept the backing um, like on, on these ones here so that you can stick them back in there. I find that those little pieces are so small. I always worry about losing them. So I've got my sets numbered and I've, you know, I've got them in bags and then I've got them like this is number four. So when I'm doing classes and my pieces go all over the place, I can track them back. Um, but definitely, uh, no, she's making wreaths and she's listening, she said. Yes. Um, so these are pretty cool. There's also mountain sets. Um, and then there are horses and people. Uh, here's another rocking chair. There are cabins. Um, this is a window. I mean, there's, and see these brick walls? I have all of that brick wall that you can and cobblestone that you can add in the background and I do love this one this is a birdhouse set so you have two different birdhouses and the birds and then again you're going to use your flower sets and your foliage set to create all of the flowers and so forth along the edges so um, I thought I would play tonight a little bit with this new um, village set and I, I just stamped uh, on off on the side this is just a basic you know pathway so I have done this where I've done the pathway by by hand uh, but now they've got a stamp for it and I've done trees here and a park bench and I've created it like a park scene uh, here they're showing it with some little houses and some flowers and a couple of people walking there's those that couple that are walking um, and these are the little villages that you can put um, around the town so are it's you going to talk all night? Yes. It's just um, endless what you what you can do with it. So having shown you all of these, we are going to start with a very, very basic set of just three pieces off of the fir, uh, fir trees. So we have a ton in stock. And, you know, as we see the interest there, we will be, you know, bringing more in and we'll continue with that. Um, so Dan's just doing a little close-up So there. I'm just showing you what Heather's tree looks like, and we'll see what mine looks yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, mine's not that great, that one. It's, you know, everything has sort of turned upright, um, so I'm going to play around with it. But that's the fun part. You can just flip it over and, you know, 
try again. This is watercolor paper. So I just take a pad and I cut up pieces and I just play around with them and, and see how uh, how we do. So we Mister, don't, you need a piece of paper right there. So we don't have watercolor paper except for in pads in the store. Is that correct? That's what I'm using as a pad. Yeah, we don't have loose. No, it doesn't come loose. It, doesn't? I mean, you can get five by seven pads of it, mm -hmm. uh, but I just prefer to get the bigger and then I can cut it to whatever size you know, that I want. Right. So okay. for this particular tree, as I said, we're only using the left and the right, and these are the smaller uh, branches here. Um, and then the tree topper, we're not even going to use this uh, piece here. We're just gonna draw a line with a pencil. Oh my goodness. So first thing, can you draw a line? Uh, I need a ruler. You don't need a ruler. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. I got, what are you doing? I'm going to use a ruler. For what? I'm doing it. Yeah, right there. Do your Well, own. I need the ruler. Hold on. Oh, oh lady. I have yeah. a haddock. We a are, headache. We are going to have so much fun. Oh, I. There I we go. Bet we are. I have a line. I have a ruler. I so have a pencil. So he has a line. So the first thing we're going to take, and we, we only need to stamp this once, and this is the tree topper. Hi, Sarah. From Muskoka. I bet you have snow. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm using pine green. I'm using. And what we're going to do, we, we always use the brush end on these. And all I'm doing is I'm taking this on an angle and I'm coloring right onto the stamp, okay? And then we don't need this yet. Let's move that out of the way. I am taking this, and this is where, you know, it's hard to see where you're stamping because it's a rubber stamp and you can't see through, but I'm creating the very top of my tree. So now uh, Ricky's going to do the same thing. This is so easy. When oh, I just Sarah's have got to, snow. When I just do exactly what you're doing. Exactly. That's what we want you to do. That's okay. what we're teaching. That's how you teach. Just, just a little rub down. Look at that. Oh, I went off a little bit. That's okay. That's all okay. going to get covered. So we are only using that one time. So why did you wipe it if you're using the same color? Oh. One time, I one said. One time, she said. Do you said. see how he listens to me, ladies? <laughs> oh, you can feel my one pain, time. I'm sure. One time. So um, this one is the one that goes on the right-hand side. So... You know, it's good to have like small blocks, maybe a little bit bigger than this because they're easier to manipulate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some of the branches on the left first. So I'm still using this pine green and I'm coloring the whole thing in. I'm trying to judge again. I'm watching where... very carefully, ladies. Now I'm doing, yes. No, you're not watching. Look, look how uh, I I'm have I'm looking my... at Sandra's comment going, yay, Dan. <sighs> okay, so I'm turning it this way. So that I'm getting that well, that's kind of obvious. A stamp. And so, so you now, have to ink can it every time? Do you have to ink it every time? Listen to what I'm doing. I'm now putting ink on just halfway. And I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to maybe do it the full thing again. I want to try to get a little closer to my, to my branch there. So I've got three like that. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to clean this because it's no. We're going to keep keep so doing it. So first one was full, and you might want to come up. Like I may end up having to put another little one up here just to fill that gap in. But I'll know. So better. there's not a shorter one to fill in there. No, we're going. No? Okay. Well, that's when you only do half of the branch. Okay, so I'm going to go up a little bit higher, and I'm going to go at a little bit of an angle, and I'm going to hope I'm in the right place. Oh my goodness! So put some more on, mm. and then you're more on. <laughs> that's a Ladies, I want to see some love here. I want to see that you guys don't agree with Heather saying that I'm a moron. So come in a little. Okay. It's just that's it's why I say it's very difficult to see exactly yeah, where it is stamps, until you get hard. used to it. So will you went right over? No, I, want, I actually went over a little bit further, but I'm you don't gonna, want to go right on. I'm top. gonna have to start another one. No, we'll do one and then 
They don't take long, and then we can do flip it over, and you can do a second one. There we go. No, but you stamp three times on top of the same thing. I'm just trying Look. to get closer. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't done those yet. Oh my! Lord. I was trying to get closer. No, that's not what I said to do. What do you oh, think, they're ladies? Giving you love there, Dan. A good. Thank you, ladies. I need it having to work with Lucy here. Okay, so now just, I'm just do doing the, the, the lower. Bottom. Yes. And yeah, maybe come right, in there. Trying to right go in, in between. The, in between. And I'm going to try and go even closer. Ta-da! Hey, that actually Linda. looks pretty yes, good. He's, yeah, it's a little thick, but that's okay. What do you mean? Because like you've got, got okay, so yep. much on there. Yeah. Okay, but my tree's so, going to be beautiful. Of course. Because it's your creation. So what are you doing? So I I need to do two more sets. So two again, I'm We're, going to... Oh, I'm reaching over here, ladies. I want to look at the original. I'm going to put that. And then I'm going to do just half of my block. On top. And I'm going to go like that, maybe. And again, you know, we're not after perfection here because as somebody said on the comments... Linda, Lucy doesn't need encouragement to say nasty things to me. Oh, please. Nasty. You're going to get a nasty. So were there a whole bunch of comments saying, yes, Lucy should be paying for my, my manicure? Because we have a... a um, a nail place right beside the store where she could send me in there okay so we're just going to do it like that for now so you just kind of did the same thing yeah, that you three, did there three 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 yep. so really two and a so half solid so the trick for me is trying to figure out where the stamp actually starts who said oh poor dan yeah oh poor dan came from unique scrapbook store must be Sandra. Uh, no, Sandra signed in as Sandra. So that's Megan. Thank you, Megan. Poor Dan. Oh, poor Dan. Wah, yeah, poor wah, Dan. Wah. I'm going to try to get in between. And remember that these so are... And are... Don't push down so, so hard. Okay. Like you just... And then do one more there. Yep. And you could do like one stamp, lift up and just stamp without inking and do a second one there if you want. Do I need to fill in some of that gap in between? You could put one right there. Yeah. Yeah, Megan, poor Dan. Oh, you're, oh, she's making fun of you, she said. Excuse me? Yeah, we'll see when you have to come into the store for something. <laughs> Good. That's not bad. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's quite full for the size of the tree, yeah. but that's okay. It's your oh, first time doing it. Okay, but so what see, we're going to do now but, is... But, but but where's the pencil and the ruler? Here. No, don't make yeah, it longer because... I am. No, no. Yeah, I am. Okay. Stay with the program here. I am. I'm watching. Okay, so now I'm going to add some branches on the other side. Whoops, that one. See how far over that one is? But I can fix that because I'm just going to go a little closer. And remember, we're going to be wetting this. And it's going to carry over into that area. So I'm just kind of going, you know, I don't want to go exactly here. I kind of went to, you know, they look like you. You want as it opposed to look to, like a real tree, which is random. We want random. Just random. Like you random. I'm See, random. I've just done a little short one there, and maybe I'll do another little short one there. And then I'm going to add one there and there. That squeaking is my chair, ladies, in case you were wondering. I'm sure they were. Yes. So I think I might just put one down there see i like these trees nicer than that one yeah that looks like a Char none of charlie them are brown going christmas to, tree that's what we kind of want but that's okay it's all good it's all my good. turn so i don't like how much oh I sean's have. watching he's here for you dan oh so now the stamp is going this way yes Okay. Yeah, so it's so a different stamp. I'm going to go a little higher with this one. 
Yep. Yeah. And maybe do a couple of like half ones. And... Yeah. I got it. I don't like this part. So. Yeah, see you're really um, right yep. there. I'm so gonna, I'm gonna fix that. Okay. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna do a half at the bottom. Now, I don't know what we're going to have Dan do next week as part of the series yeah. of if Ricky can do it, you can do it. Yeah, Dan's going to see. Okay. So okay, I'm going to actually do one more. I'm, okay. I'm going to do one more layer, yeah. which is going to, uh, with no more ink, which is, I went too long. That's okay. I'm no, you could just, you know, we can fill that in later. Just True. get your basics. The yeah, coolest thing is here. that trees aren't perfect. That's right. That's right. But you know what? Oh, if look you're at looking, that, ladies. You can see how it's... Middle for diddle. Middle for Now, diddle. I just want to fill it in, right? Yeah. Okay. But you can see how it's taking its shape just by using two, two, two stamps. And as I said, the more you play with it... The, the thing I like about uh, working with these is that... You know, I can go somewhere, and it all fits in this little bag. Can you You're see this on my bag? piece Hold of on. artwork here. This is my bag I use. It's just one bag, See, one ladies, small that's, bag. That's something else she can take on the uh, airplane with her sidekick. Yeah, your yeah. sidekick? Yeah, you said you could take the sidekick on an airplane. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I don't think so. Oh, I remember having uh, a discussion about that. Okay. Ladies, oh, yeah. you remember? Eight by eight page layouts. Oh, you want Dan to do an eight by eight page layout. We could do a layout next week. Yeah, we never do layouts like that. I'll give him some pieces and let him use his imagination. I'd like him to do a mixed media piece too. Yeah, and I, I saw some comments about... Uh, there we go. Yeah, do I just, need to maybe do no, one there? No, no, no. You're nope. getting too full. Okay. Just maybe do one down here to because you made your branch extra long now. Hi, Angela. Yeah, he can stamp off to make a lighter tone, or he can stamp, so you know, I'm, more I'm, than I'm, more than once. Yeah, I think I need when to stamp doing, because I tend to push hard. Yeah, you don't so want to it's push probably hard. better for me to have less ink. When we're doing things like flowers. For instance, this is a, a set, if there's time, I'll show you. But um, if I was coloring the tops of this particular flower here, these More little bushes, piece. I could just, like I would do one, two, three. You know, I would do it in a cluster. So your first one is darker, and then, you know, your second and your third one is a bit lighter. So that creates that depth. Um, which is, you know, which is what we want to do. We want to, just by using these markers, we want to create that depth in there. So I'm going to move that out of the way again. So now what we want to do is we want to create the illusion of there being snow on the top of these branches. So we're done, and I'm done so, stamping now? Yeah, give me that. Okay, clean that off. That's all actually the stamping that we're going to do. The rest now is working with a brush and water. So what we're going to do now is we want to take this color, and this is African Violet. Put the cap on the marker, please. And what I want to do, whoops, I don't want the brush end this time. I want the end that's got this little tip on it. And I want to create some little piles of snow on these branches, maybe like this, like this. You know, maybe some snow in there, a little bit of snow there. So I'm just creating these little hills in here and there. And after I do this, if I find that there's a blank spot, then I can add a few more branches. But I usually find that this is, this is good like this. So this tree is outside. This tree is outside. This tree is outside. Are we all following along? Do you see how easy it is, ladies? What are you My thinking? My lines are really crinkly. Uh, yep, they're crinkly. Yeah. Do more smooth, I, like I, a, I, I a I mound. Can't, I can't do smooth. Like well, that. don't go fast. Well, if Take I don't, time. then there it's when I shake. 
my hands shake, shake, rattle, and roll because I'm old. Okay, you're making it more like just yeah. You want it mound like a mound of snow. Okay. There you go. Hmm. That's good. Okay. All right. Put the cap on. I got jiggly ones. You're a jiggler. Oh, we we got two. Caps. Okay, so you've got a brush there. Uh oh. So, I find the best way to do this is. Bonnie suggests we want some water on there but I always take I take a paper towel and I take the the sheen off my brush when I'm working I don't like this brush I find a brush that I like Dan's got the brush that I like no nope, that's not gonna work you want it you want to borrow mine no I'll find one here yet see how I see how I, I offer to let her use my brush so well, all I'm doing is I'm pulling a little bit of the water off. I'm going to turn this upside down because what I want to do is I want to touch those African violet lines and I want to pull that color. So I'm touching it and I'm pulling the color out, which is creating sort of the sky in the background and leaving those mounds looking like, um, you know, there's snow, but you don't want a ton of water on there. And if you do happen to dab with too much water, you could take a paper towel and just take it off. So, you're brushing so all I'm doing is I'm touching the, the line and I'm bringing that color up. Go slow because you, you need the water to activate that ink. That's it. And you want to just keep pulling it. So yours so, has, I'm, I'm not doing a lot. There we go. Okay. I was, I could actually see the brush strokes where I couldn't see that on yours. Okay, and I'm just pulling that color. And again, I'm dabbing that water See? off. And then I'm going to yeah. touch the lines. And I'm pulling that. Pull that up. So it's really about the direction of your brush as well, eh? Yeah, hmm. but I mean, like you want, you know, we don't want this big just following the lines you're pulling the color up to create the background in the sky and then that's leaving um you know it's leaving the the mounds of snow so am i am i getting enough color in there yeah yours looks See, like it's, you can it's go darker so grab more from the line make sure i'm touching yeah, the line See? okay and depends on you know um, sometimes okay. I'll just back to yours. I'll, I'll loosen it up a little bit and then pull. See? Hmm. Hey. Hey. Sharing. Yeah, I'm sharing. And again, see, Dan, look. I'm just touching it and then I start to, it yeah. loosens it and yeah. then you could start to pull. I and that's see. a little too much water. Hmm. Good snow, eh, Linda? It's doing okay. So it's, it's, this is another thing that's very relaxing to sit and, and do and just play around with this stuff because it just creates this really nice look. Look how quiet it got. That's actually pretty cool the way, uh, You kind of touch your ink yep. line, and it 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 pulls that color the, uh, out for and you. And you can go over your other ones as well again. Yep. If you feel it hasn't spread enough. Exactly. Wow. So, so yes, you can then bring it out a little further. A little, you know, a little lighter. Now. Just going to leave that for now. Um, what you want to do? I'm still you're going doing. To, I'm going to get some sky closer to the tree. No, there. don't worry too much about that until we do the green now. Okay, she's pretty bossy. I'm the boss. Yeah. Hi, Deb. How are you? There we go. Okay. You're watching Dan creating here. Okay, 
So now what we want to do is we want to take a little bit of water. Again, I take that, that sheen off. And I want to just dab. maybe dab a little bit just to soften those branches. I'm not putting too, too much water because I, I still want to be able to see the, the, the needles, the fur needles. But I want to soften it a bit. And then I'm going to, if these aren't attached, Dan, you're going to just yeah, bring I, I actually, it in yeah, with a little here. bit of water and yeah. just attach them to that center part. Just like that. So we just, just by uh, touching it with the water, it's, you know, softening it. But you don't want it too, too uh, You don't want to take away all the detail. Exactly. But we do want to soften. And then you can, you know, as I said, you're going to bring a little bit of the color down to fill in some of those areas. Now, could, could I stamp another branch on here yeah because sure. i don't like the way this branch is just light yeah, all by ahead. itself so so you want the pine green it's beside you there we go what are we saying there ladies wow wow <laughs> He is a brave man taking this challenge on. So as Dan said, whoop, he wants to add another uh, branch like in there. I don't the way it ended up. This is the left side one. So, you know, if I even wanted to add a little, whoops, wrong yeah, side. Yeah, you didn't do the top. I will. Oh, okay. I just want to go I in there. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a reason for that. Because you have reasons. To, oh, I have lots of reasons. You have reasons. I like this. There we go. I just see I added just a little piece of a branch in yeah. there. And I want to add. And I'm going to just. Excuse me. I'm just going to I touch it like this. Dark branch. Okay, so we are. We are see this here. way. No. That's on the left side. I don't want it on the left side. Uh, where's you the got other the wrong one? branch. Where's the other branch going? I never took any branches off. Is that no? That's no. The it's top. on the long here. Where is it? Is that what you said? Yeah, something like that. That needs to be cleaned. Where is it? And she had it. Mm -hmm. And the where is it was kind of, well, you have it, Ricky. I don't think I said that, but no, I I read between the lines. I'm really good at that. Oh, yeah, we look real cute sitting beside each other, Sandra. Yes, except I'm not in my pajamas and Lucy is. Dan needs a set of markers. <laughs> Dan has His a own? set. Dan has a set in the store. Just It's called Help Myself Like Lucy Does. That's right. Someone's got to take care of Lucy. Okay, where did I? Right? I just did this. Yeah, I just That makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, that looks better. What do you think, ladies? Adding that branch makes a difference. So what we want to do now is we're going to take the brown sepia and we're going to bring that base of the tree in. And I'm trying not to make it poker straight. Just like that. I can do that. So I can actually grab here where I was a little crooked. And we want to be a little inconsistent with it. See, Lucy's watching me really, really, really closely. Yeah. And I Hi, know Linda. I know she wants to say something, but she's not. Oh. Here you go. Two caps. I get confused. So um, when you want to do backgrounds, what you want to do is you want to have... A, a palette board and you want to put a little color on there we're and not, then we're not doing anything with the trunk not yet oh later. that's it oh that's it yeah we're going to um use some water on it in a minute okay. but what that, we want to do i asked i asked that didn't i ladies is we want to thin this out really well that's okay Linda, we're glad brush. you joined us and we're going to just create a little bit of ground 
underneath here to secure that tree. Now, now at the same time, what you can do is you can bring it out, you know, from the sides and create, you know, sky in the background as well. And if you find that it's too dark, just add a bit of water oh, oh. and thin it out. So we could have, before we did this, we could have used the uh, mountain yeah. or the ravine or the trail stamp before oh, yeah, we, sure. and before put, we put the tree down. And then that would have been in the back yep. while we have the tree in the front. Exactly. So how come you didn't tell me that? I wanted to keep it very basic for you. Ooh. So let's just here. So you want to thin some out and then put it there. Hi, Chantel. So how did how did you do this? You just, just used take, the marker? So and, I yeah, took marker okay, and then take yep. that and okay. then you want to just thin it. You want it really, you don't want it looking purple. You want it just looking, I think you got enough water. No, definitely not. What? I took the water off. Well, you don't want to take the water off this time. Watch, Ricky. There you go. Okay, now I take some water off? You should be okay if you don't push hard. Okay. You want it light. So I want to do the bottom. Yeah, just do some brushes. No, not wiggly. It's not an ocean. It's a ground. Yeah, but my ground's got rocks. Do I have too much water? It looks like... It'll dry. Why are you... <laughs> you get... Why am I what? You're shaking? getting weird with your ground. Well, that, but you don't... That's, you... that's my hands. No, you can't do mine. You can't. You can't do mine. You can't. Mine will not look like yours. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Now, if you wanted to make this a little lighter, you can take some take water, water yeah. take a dab of it off, and then brush it, Don't brush do it mine. out. Don't do mine. So that it thins it so it doesn't show, look... Show over here. Lady, yeah. she's messing around with my art. See, look. I I'm like the way mine thinning looks. Thinning it out. I like it. So it's got some heavier areas and lighter areas. To each their own. You got that right, Carolyn. Yeah. He's his own, all right. I'm cooking with gas. Thanks, Ann. <laughs> yeah, he's got gas, but I don't know if he's cooking with it. But That's why I said the chair squeaks. It wasn't me. Okay. That's what that was all about. So um, then I'm just going to wait this and move it out of the area. I want a mountain behind side. mine. You're not having mountains tonight. Hmm. Okay. So I took some water off. I'm just going to go down lightly on my tree branch or my... Um, Tree, all the what do you call off? it? Trunk. Trunk, there we go. It's the trunk. You don't want to go too thick. You just want a thin, thin it out a, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing, we're going to put a few little ornaments Excuse on. Excuse me. <coughs> Dan has been fighting a cold for two weeks now. Two weeks. Thanks, Sandra. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, you take this color. I'm going to take this color. Am I making some and ornaments? We're going to make some ornaments. You don't need a lot on there. So if I want this green one, so I'm going to make like a little circle. Oh, I see. But I'm going to leave the center with a little highlight in it like that. I see what you're doing. So I'm not filling it completely. I'm leaving a little piece of it. There we go. You can do that one. That, uh, try that. Is it not working well? I think it's getting dry. Ah! Why did you do that? I fixed it. Oh, I'm going to fix you. No, I need a different color. That's not working. Well, use that green. I don't want green. I want colors. Here. Yeah. Here, you can have the cap for that and throw it in the garbage. I'll throw you in the garbage. Lucy, Lucy, oh, these are different. That has a hard tip where this just has the pointed tip. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I like this better. Yeah. Joni, he's going to drive me to drink. If you I don't stop just... driving that hot rod Lincoln. Oh, my God. 
I heard that song yesterday, so <laughs> it's kind of on my brain, girl. So you got you got the benefit of that. Oh my! So that's all I'm doing is that's all the ornaments I'm putting on. Yeah, I'm probably doing more because my tree is going to be beautiful. Oh, of course it is. Oh, yeah, it's real dark. Yeah. What? They're really dark. You're pushing hard again. I, it's the difference in the tip. It's too late now. It's too late now. It's too yeah, this late, this tip this tip is a marker tip. Yeah. Where those tips are not marker tips. Okay. What he said. Yeah, what I said. Yeah, so no just, tea. You got that. Yeah, where's my tea? There. That's a lot. Yeah. Oh, you got green ones so, too? Yep. So first I'm going to actually touch on my green ones. I'm not doing green ones. With a little bit of water. Just to soften that up. He's got to soften his. I think you have his. my brush. Thank you. He's got to soften his up. You wish your husband would try crafting? Well, it's interesting. No doubt. So I'm just putting a little bit of water on those. Yeah. To um, soften them up. So mine look different than yours. Yeah. Whoa, what, Which are, you, is what are you doing? Hey, yours are hey, really, really hey. dark and big. Yes. But that's okay. That's my tree. See, ladies, she can't accept that that I'm making it. I'm making it my own way. She's got to yes. try to. She's got to try to change it to her way. That's right, Joni. Be careful what you wish for. So, other than what we've done here, like that's that's the tree is done. Um, Check once out it, my tree. Once it dries, you would then take a white um, pen and just add. These are wet, so it's just going to smear. But I can add a little dot. Uh, in there just to finish up that highlight and then I can also add some dots in the background for snow if I want what also would look really really nice on this is really really nice the iridescent glitter dust um, this is coming in next week it's finally off of the back order but I can which which green did you use here pine green Pine Can green, have... the dark green right up there. And so you could see, I don't know if you can Whoa, see. Yeah, you can if you get it up there higher. It's really Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. Give it a little flicker again. With yeah. the glitter dust on there. And so, you know, you attach that onto a front of a card. And um, yeah, my tree looks a little sick. It's been a while since I've done this. So, you know what? It's like anything. You play around, you practice, but um, it really, truly is easy. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, we want to see... to frame it, yeah? We need some comments here. I want to see need what you guys comments. think you of my great, work. Dan. Way to go, Dan. Great job, Dan. You need to frame that, Dan. Dan the man, I've got them too, too far apart. Actually, what's that? Like, no, this is intentional. Okay. I am, I am trying He's doing to, his own thing now, ladies. Yeah, so Heather's uh, Charlie Brown Christmas tree is not my kind of Christmas tree. So are there shorter of these as well? Branches? Yeah. No, you would no. Just, just use less. Yeah, just but use no, from I, the tip. But then I'll get green on the other side here, and that's not what I no, want. No, if you wipe it off, you only put the ink on half of it. Okay, I'm going to try something. Oh, you go. Yeah. So I like my tree to be a lot fuller. So I'm trying to just do a little section here. And I want to see what's going to happen here. I want to do a little section. So I, I stamped it, but I cleaned off half of it. And yes. I know you can probably do that Just with tape. Just take it with your finger. You could do that with tape yeah. as well. And we've got tape because sometimes, you know, for something like this, you want to tape off this section when you are stamping like the top part. So you mask it off or you use something that's called a Molotov. A what? 
Oh, is that what that's? I know what that is. And that masks off your area as well. So if I wanted, let's say, you know, to have um, like snowflakes in there, I could have put this down first and marked the spots, do my blue and then take it off. And then the background would have the white. Yeah, Lorraine says you're doing great, Dan. So, and the one thing Bonnie says is always sign your pieces. Is this yours? No, this is mine. Always put your name on after you've done it. See what I did? So uh, I would stamp it a lot more. Yeah. So but I'm looking, small I'm looking the for a, and... a more filled in tree. Yeah. And I wanted the branches to get shorter to the top mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. they normally do yep. in, in nature. So Good. you could make some pretty nice looking trees. Yeah. Look what I did, ladies. So there's that glimmer on there. The glitter dust, which is really cool. So it gives it that that so, neat kind of look to it. So I'm just playing around. He's um, playing. But I think if, if I cleaned off the lower end of the stamp better, uh, it would have definitely looked like just a bunch of smaller branches. But even where I've gone over uh, with some ink, when I do branches on the other side, that's all going to disappear. Now, um, this here is this basic... Um, you know, basic scene with this pathway. And with it being acrylic, this is the first time that I've used them as an acrylic. And what I would suggest is to first clean it with the stamp conditioner by Maker Forte, because this is the stamp conditioner. I don't know what I got all over it. This one smells like cotton candy because it will take that yucky stuff off from the, from when they mold it. Um, because I did find that when I stamped it, so what I did was I used sepia Linda, you on could here. definitely do it. Yeah, the markers do make it easy. Um, and, and it looks, you know, like watercolor. So this is this stamp here for this path. Um, the brown is a lot lighter than I would have liked it. And I think had I sprayed it with the conditioner and conditioned my stamp first, that would have been a better thing to do. So this could have had a tree right here. Of course. And there's so many different trees and there's animals and, yeah. you know, and, and then you, you're putting things into proportion with it. Like you can have a mountain, the smaller mountains in the background here. You can almost the pick the stamps to create a scene that, I mean, in, in your... If you go for a walk and there's some hills and some trees, you could almost use the stamps to create that image. Yep. You could. You could. You could. So what I'm going to do here, um, how long we've been on? I don't know, because you don't have a clock on right. your computer. I do. Yeah. 8.52. How 50, are we doing, ladies? 52 minutes we've been on. Yep. So I'm just going to show you one more little thing. Yeah, the glitter dust is great. And as I said, it's going to be in this week. So this is a wagon. This wagon is really cute. They've done one with a snowy scene with a boy in here and a snowman off to the side. So again, you know, you're using all these stamps together in different ways. And she just keeps coming out with more and more and more. So this wagon, I'm taking the brown and I'm going over all of these lines. But I'm also going to add a little bit what are you looking for? of the African violet purple. Here it is. So I'm going to add a little bit of this here and there. Okay, ladies, there. so I, I want a whole bunch of suggestions here. So we have a week uh, and we have to come up with another. Um, they want a layout. Ricky can do it. I want to hear a whole bunch of suggestions. Well, we're going to do this for four weeks. So let's throw out some ideas. What would you like to see me do? Oh, the masking stuff you want to see? Yeah. So um, so what I'm doing here first, I'm, I'm just going to... And again, like you're not just going zoop, 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 and you're, you're following every line. You're pulling the lines to create shadow so see how I'm I'm going underneath touching those lines and then 
bringing the color out. And you can see now where the purple has given me a little bit of a different color in there. And I'm darkening up those Have Ricky areas. use the glimmer machine? Yes. Well, I could actually do that because for me, that's easy. Right, Lucy? Yeah. So just showing you here machines, how I'm just machines doing Machines are my forte. You know, adding the um, the shadows to this this piece here. I'll go back over, you know, some of those details later. But I just want to show you. Now, if I want to mask that area, I can make a mask or I can use this. It's dry. And it will cover that area. Okay, so... And then it dries. Mine's still good. So it's, yeah, it's just called um, Art Masking Molotow. Molotow. Yes, I. And it's I, protecting I, that area. I am um, fairly good with the, uh, the Cricut machine. I have been thinking about an online class, but. Um, there's so much involved in the Cricut and without not having that interaction, it's kind of hard to deal with issues as you run into them. Uh, but I am thinking about it. But soon we're going to be open. Soon. 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 That we might be able to do classes. I remember my last class uh, was during COVID uh, and we masked. Um, and, and we know now, I mean, if we have... Uh, six or eight people in the class there will be enough space that as long as you're sitting at your workstation uh, you could take your mask off so i mean we're, we're thinking about it so that's uh, going to be mixed media i would like to do a mixed media but heather lucy would probably be trying to get me to do it her way and when i start getting creative she'd get upset at me well there are still certain art rules that you should follow when you're yes. doing stuff like see, that see there's always rules there's rules so yeah. of course there is and a lawn fawn card oh a lawn fawn um, like an interactive so, card so you want you want to see me do use a die cut machine and stamping? what is sean saying a christmas card using ephemera pieces oh i can do that sean knows what ephemera pieces are so you see how i'm just adding some, you know, little flowers in there. I can do another color if I want. Yes, Linda, tell me what to do. Lucy does all the time. Let's see what that color is like. Nasty weather, Deborah. Whereabouts are you? It doesn't look too bad here. So I can, you know, I'm just using one of the stamps here, but I can then, um, my stamps are all on the floor, but I can use, you know, some of those other ones and make them higher up. Um, I can take... I need to have pack. listening ears? Well, listening I don't listen ears. to everything. So you see where that blue, where I put that blue, what I would do then is take my brush. I'm hoping that mine is still good because it's really old. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. So then what you do is you can go in and the blue will come off. It may have been wet when I did it. And it's not going to have... It brushes off the um, that top layer. See but how not this time. Not this time. Not kind this of, time. Kind of, sort of. It does work. I think mine is just really old and you got to really shake it up and I don't think I, I shook it quite enough. But um, that's kind of... Oh, Kitchener to Alora. Wow. And Guelph too. Huh, w wasn't bad when I left. So this one here, it's got some little flowers on the ends of them. So I can take this particular one and I can put my green on the bottom part and then I can take another color and put it on the top for the little the little flowers up there just like this and then I can add them wherever I want 
down in the bottom here and then after I can add in some grass because we have um, you know different sets that have the grass that we can put along the bottom um, and you know just soften this out it's a little hard when I'm just pulling things from here and there to to create this Dan's trying to get that thing to work well I'm trying to make it more visible hopefully this will do it and then you can soften those Soften those lines up, soften up the flowers, but the stems and the uh, color of the tops are a little too close. You're pushing stuff all over my oh, work I'm here. Sorry. There we go. So let's just see what that Fire does. Fire me. So use the brush to take it off the. Uh... Yeah, with water. Okay. I was on a dry surface. Put it down and then stamped. So what about the blue? Oh, I see, I see, I see. So how does all this blue disappear? By wetting it. Let's see, maybe what? No, just no, the baby no, no, I'm playing. I might not be using it properly. You're not. This is not working. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. It. You know what? I bet you the blue disappears when it dries. But I can see where, where the ink... Oh my goodness, look what she did, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, I, I think maybe you should have done. that out. We're going to play with that some more to understand how it works. So, because Lucy doesn't. Okay, is this a thumbs up that Ricky can do it? You can do it? Are you guys going to attempt to do some of these? The, you know, I know some Linda of the said sets, she thought she could do it now. Yeah, some of the sets like this burn set is, you know, you've got the um, windmill. Is that a windmill? And then, you know, you've got a couple of different burns and some cows. Like this one would be really easy to do. And you could get away with just using that. Uh, this here, this effect is really done by dabbing and then, you know, brushing it out, right? So... You know, you can just dab your background and then you're going to dab, dab, dab and create, you know, your tree See how areas. we're working together? Oh, it's scary. Whoops, sorry. But um, maybe a, a bigger it, brush? Yeah. It, Here, it's you're not, no, you're it's brushing. It's not spreading enough. Yeah, your dabs look like dabs. You just have to... Keep work playing. it. You gotta work it, baby. Work it. Hello, Melinda. And I mean, you can also just put that color onto your palette, then take it with some color, and you want to create that background as well that way. So you you can create your background, and then you can use a, a darker green on there as well. That's see right, Barb. Is, see how if that's, Ricky can do it, you can do it. How that's going that way. Yeah. Um, and then you know the sky, the same thing. Like we used this color, which was quite dark. But, but the sky, you're not going to dab. You're going to just brush it. No, this guy here is more clouds like. So you're, again, you're going well, to... Well, you're still dabbing. Yeah. But then you're going to spread it. No? Nope. You come down. That was a question. You're supposed to answer me. Just like that. You can create it that way. Or you can do, you know, just long uh, clouds I like, like that this. better. Yeah. You know, there's a couple of different ways that, that you can Go do it. Go over your clouds there. Well, it's... Yeah. It's just going to make it too... So you want it more puffy. You I can use a lighter blue. See, look. You can make more puffy clouds like that. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of different things, you know, different ways to, to achieve the, the look that you want. It's all just playing around with it, having fun and playing around. And as I said, um, you know, Bonnie Krebs, who is the owner of AI. She does this watercolor Wednesday, every Wednesday. There's a ton of videos and she shows you what markers, what stamp sets to use. 
and she is really good. I find she moves really fast, so I have to pause her, do a little bit, and then. But that's the great thing you about know, the, the the videos. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you you like that Dan was giving it a try? Yeah, you know he he's not afraid to try different uh, different things. Yeah, watching two different hands on the screens. <laughs> yes, but as I mentioned earlier, I need a manicure. Oh, Betty's going to be playing with all of these. Yes, they're just so fun to do. And as I said, I mean, the more you do it, the 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 more practice you have with it, the more you know, the more fun they are. Like, look, look at these here. I've, I've done a ton of them and I don't know where they have all disappeared to. They used to be in my little, my little container here. Yeah. But when you, um, when you look at mine, I mean, first you, attempt, you can't really do wrong. No. Uh, no. I mean, a lot of times we look at, at our own work and we kind of, you know, we notice all the little things that just aren't right. But when somebody else looks at it, they don't see it in the same eyes that we do. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, doing the same thing and look how different. You know, they, they're they all very, very different. But they all look like Charlie's Christmas tree. Well, yeah, but they're supposed to look and like that's, Charlie's Christmas That's why Christmas I wanted tree. to do this. But I really so. like these containers. And so, you know, doing the different flowers... And so there's all Actually, those... show the container better because I really don't see that. So the stamp is just empty water cans and then you would paint and fill. You're going to, you know, use something like, like this is little grass for on the ground, some other little grass. These vines wrap around different things. Um, you know, those are all different little grasses. These are all flowers. So these flowers would be used, look at these little petals, you know, and that's why I say these stamps are so small. Right, There's more flowers. Here so we can actually see the flowers. There we go. Yep. This is another flower set. So the, you know, there's lots and lots of different flowers. Here's another different tree. Dan was saying, you know, put some trees here and you've got a whole different. That's um, if you don't want to make your own. Yeah. And then there are branches. So you might have a house and it might be the winter and you want to put some big tree branches behind the house. And you could put snow on the branches just like we did snow. with the pine tree. Uh, you know, this is wall texture. If you're doing just like a door, like the door like this, and then you would put the wall texture. Here's another foliage set. So you, you create those groups. Um, these are the little mini, mini flowers. And you can see how small those stamps are. So I've got... Quite a, quite a collection of them. Oh, Lucy, you have a collection of everything. And here, you know, when I do this one, um, I stamp this and then, sorry, I stamp this first and then mask it off and stamp the chair. So, and Bonnie shows you how to do that in her videos. Like she, as I said, um, oh, I've got the cats that you can put you know, in different spots. Um, Don't let Megan see those. I know, flower, more flowers, different flowers. Like it's just so fun to play with them. This bicycle was beautiful. We did those, uh, a class with those ones. And the we did a class in the basket. with the old vintage truck. I mean, you could do that a red truck. It's just endless. And all of these, they just fit in my little bucket. The other side has got my markers, and away I go. A, a pad of um, watercolor paper, and you're set to go. So, ladies, I see comments about the videos and how you like being able to watch the videos and, and learn how to do things and watch them on your own time. Um, Ricky has been working really hard at getting all these videos up onto YouTube. So if you are not following us on YouTube, uh, it's Unique Scrapbook Store. Find us on YouTube if you uh, search uh, Unique um, Unique Scrapbook Store. And uh, all the videos that we do, Sandra's, Megan's, uh, Lucy's, are all up there. I try to get them up there uh, within a couple days. Um, so that's another way that you can view. If you have friends that are not Facebook people, and I know there's a lot of you out there uh, that are not Facebook people, that's why we're trying to get things up to YouTube. Let your friends know that uh, YouTube is there for them, that uh, they can go up and take a look at our videos.
So that is, anybody, any questions? Are you guys going to, uh, is this something that you can uh, see yourself playing around with and, and trying? Um, and again, in the new year, we'll, you know, we'll try to do a couple of classes at the store to, um, you know, have my sets there for you to do a, a class and play around with. It is snowing out there. Look. Mm -hmm. Yuck. So, um, oh, you've watched many of them on the YouTube now, Lorraine? Yeah, awesome. it's nice that they're, that they're on there. Thanks for going up there and checking them out. Okay. So. I think that's it for tonight. Did you want to do a prize of something? We didn't talk about it. What? After the fact. See, Lucy doesn't do, she doesn't think about prizes when she does her videos. Oh, I no. make sure the other girls have, or I try to, make sure the other girls have prizes for all their videos. So if you're just following us and you're not really watching Sandra and Megan, um, you need to follow them as well because uh, they have prizes every week. I get to pick them, but they have prizes. So should we, um, what would you like to do? Some Tombow markers or? Do you have some? Not here, but we have them at the store. Um, do you want to do a, like six different colors? Three different colors? I don't know. What do you, I don't know what you normally do. Yeah, let's, let's do uh, a set of four. So, so we'll do like the sepia and like the African violet, some of the common colors, the uh, green, and we will uh, give you guys a set of four yeah. as a prize tonight. So and the key word will be manicure. Manicure. And there's man in that. So oh, it's boy. for these hands. I want a manicure. So you're going to get four Tombow markers. And the keyword is manicure. You've got to put the word in the video here, and then you've got to like the post as well. And um, that's going to be it for tonight. We have new stuff to show you uh, this Sunday. We have Elizabeth Craft in, and we also have, um, uh, Oh, some new P13. Oh, and you know what? And some new Chow Bella. So we'll show all of that on Sunday and night. I don't think we did a video. I mean, we brought, we didn't do a lot for Black Friday, but we did bring some stuff in. We did some posts on Facebook. But I don't think, I know we showed the, um, a blank. We the showed Prima. The, we showed the Prima, but we brought in a whole bunch of stencils. The I don't think fence. we showed those. We didn't, so maybe we can no. show them so on we'll, Sunday. We'll show you some of those as well, because we know a lot of you are getting interested in the in the mixed media. I mean, you use the stencils on your cards and your layouts as well, um, but they're great for mixed media. Some of these stencils are really beautiful. Um, some of them have already been gobbled up, and some of them we've sold out on, but we still have a ton. And the price is really good. So that's it for us tonight. Yes, ladies. We will see you on Sunday. And then the girls have some exciting stuff for you next week. Um, if you get a chance, pop in the store. We're giving, um, a giving while we have the supplies, a three by three little Christmas um, stamp. House mouse. They're not house mouse. They're not house mouse. They are Christmas stamps by Stampendous, but they're oh. the little three by three ones. And for every 20 bucks you spend, you can get one. As I said, while supplies last, but we've got quite a few. That's tomorrow and Saturday. And Saturday, um, you know, uh, Betty, Megan, Sandra, myself, and Morgan will all be in the store. So come on in and see us. We're actually going to be working on Lucy Palooza stuff. Uh, stuff. packing up stuff in the back. So but you're you not allowed even, to go in the back and Well, look. you might get a little sneak oh. peek, which would be really cool. Yeah, I know so, the, the ladies that were here uh, this past weekend for the retreat, Lucy has all of her mixed media stuff in the studio. And I made a comment saying, what a mess you have here. And one of the guests said, oh no, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful <laughs> mess. It's the beautiful mess. <laughs> so anyway, pop in the store and see us this weekend. We'd love to see you come and chat. 
Yep. And, uh, oh, while we're all there. And we have the Scrapbooking Cards magazine. Yep, Scrapbooking Cards magazine. So along with that free stamp, you're also going to get $25 and up purchase. You get a free magazine. They're awesome magazines. We have Glimmer Machines in stock. We've got Gemini Machines. Oh, uh, Big we, Shot we do Plus, ha We Big do Shots. have them in stock, but they're not on the online store yet. No, Dan hasn't put them in the online. But if you came into the store like Lorraine Henderson did today, came in and picked one up. So, um, oh, that's funny, uh, Linda. What's that? Oh, manicure. Yeah, yeah, manicure. Dan Ricky needs a manicure. I so, bet you, I bet you the real Ricky got manicures all the time. I'm sure he did. He also had hair, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's okay. not his fault. No, nah. well, I think it's tea time for us. Yes. You ladies go and have a cup of tea and um, keep safe. And keep creating. Have and a good night. Join us next week for the next uh, event with uh, if, if Ricky, Ricky can, can do it, it you yeah, can do it, can or do anybody it. can do it. We're gonna mess it up. Of course we are. I messed it up this time. All right. Bye, ladies.